guys, today I'm going to talk about bribing Magic the Gathering um, online opponents to concede. So back, way back when, um, you had a system where if you had a lot of points, uh, you could you get more money, you get more invites, and kind of, it's a little different from today, but it was it was beneficial, it was actually more beneficial at a, the top levels to pay your opponents to lose to you. And this was a very famous Magic the Gathering cheating scandal. I'm not going to say who it is, but like you can figure out uh, very easily from the internet, so because you're on the internet right now. Now the story goes, um, he got caught for cheating, or he got disqualified, or didn't get disqualified. There's kind of various, just like any type of story from back then, there's various accounts of what happened. Essentially, it came out that he might have been cheating, and then all of his Magic Online opponents um, went on publicly and said, hey, this guy bribed me, for, he was trying to bribe me, and, and then they, and so many people came out. So the most famous Magic the Online player at that time, and one of the most famous Magic players in Magic the Gathering's history up until that point, wasn't good at Magic the Gathering. And that was a problem because he was going to these larger events and he was doing very poorly in it. And you're like, wow, he must have just been very... I remember one of the commentaries was, he was very nervous, that's why he did so poorly. That's not what it was. Uh, he obviously couldn't bribe the real people and he could only bribe online people with like cards and money. And then that's how he, he spent, I think, again, all of this speculation, but I, it's been said that he spent anywhere between $5,000 to $10,000. But then you might be like, okay, that sounds kind of stupid. Why would he do that? Like, is it really worth it? Yes, it was worth it because his sponsorships, because of his invitations, his fame, his ability, he made way more than that money. And it was an interesting scenario where it actually happened. Um, so a lot of times Magic's history is not, so, Magic's history, pro history, isn't the cleanest pro history. You have people cheating left, you have people cheating right. Uh, I've told the story of Mike Long versus Mark Justice, two notorious cheaters playing against each other and both cheating at the same time. And uh, I'll just summarize that story because it's so hilarious to me. Uh, one of them knocks over their deck, just intentionally not knocked over their deck. And then uh, when they knocked over their deck, they knocked over their dice as well. Um, and then they set their life total higher. And then the other that guy quickly knocked over his dice as well and then set his life total lower. And then, so each, each one of them w was cheating at the same time and the judge had to make a call on who was right. And then when, I forget who was actually wrong, the other dude was like, I got ya. <laughs> and that's how it was. You couldn't play Magic unless you were cheating at a very high level. And that's how the game was played. So Magic has a very interesting history. And this dude just took it to another level. Like he just, um, he said, I'm going to spend $5,000, $10,000. I'm going to become the best Magic Online player by bribing every opponent I have. And I'm going to get invited to all these events, but hell, I don't know how to play Magic. Like this actually happened. Like, <laughs> you know, you think about a lot of funny things that happen in the pro Magic in the back. Like that's why pro Magic, beyond Mark Justice and Mike Long, no one talks about it, right? No one talks about it because those were dark times indeed where people had cards in their laps, people were like taking cards. Like these are at GPs and pro tours. So we're not talking about like your Friday Night Magic dude who's adding cards into their deck. These are people who uh, throw cards in trash cans, pick up cards from trash cans. I mean, it is just ridiculous that, uh, and the best example, I, I think the best way I can summarize it is Mike Long versus Mark Justice at a very high level event, I think it was GP, Charlotte, and both of them cheat at the same time. <laughs> one of them knocked over their dice, the other knocked over their dice, and it's like, oh, that's... how funny is that? Like, like and back then they didn't have cameras, or I guess their camera footage wasn't as good. But I always think of this one dude from Magic Online, he spent $5,000 or $10,000 or some amount of money, and it turned out that he wasn't even good at, he didn't even know how to play Magic. Yeah, he was the number one Magic Online player at the time. Uh, I just find that um, hilarious given how competitive Magic Online is today. Bye, guys.